video I'm going to show you how to make a crochet flip flop keychain. So to get started you're going to need yarn and you're going to need two different colors. I'm using orange and pink and this yarn is thinner than the yarn that I usually use. Next you're going to need a crochet hook and make sure you use a hook that works well with the yarn and the thickness of the yarn. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a threading needle, and a keyring. To get started, you're going to make a slip knot and then chain nine. So one, two, three, four. just like that. And in the second chain from the hook, you're gonna do three single crochets. So one and two, and then here we're gonna do three single crochets. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops. And you're gonna do this two more times. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both. One more time, go in, yarn over, yarn over, pull through both, just like that. This is what it should look like. Now you're gonna do one single crochet in the next three chains. So, one, two, and three. Just like this. Now in the next chain you're gonna do one half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Just like that. Now in the next two chains, you're gonna do one double crochet each. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through both, yarn over, pull through the last two. Do this one more time. The next chain, yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over and pull through, Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, second two. Now you should have one chain left, and in this you're going to do seven double crochets. So, one, two, Four, five, six, and seven. And I'm just going to pull this tight. this is what it should look like. So this is what it looks like right now. Now you're going to rotate and you're going to do one double crochet in the next two chains. Now it is a bit hard to tell where the chains are in this because this was where we started from so they aren't exactly chains. So yarn over and ignore the loop that we just went into and go into the next loop, just like that, the intersection of the first loop and the second loop. 
So in here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, second two. And you're gonna do this one more time in the next chain. So inter intersection, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both, yarn over into the last two. This is what you have right now. In the next chain, do one half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Just like that. Now you're gonna do three single crochets in the next three chains. So one, two, and three. Now you're back at the first chain that we did. You're going to go in there and make a slip knot. Well, a slip stitch. So basically go in, yarn over and pull through. It's almost like a single crochet. Pull through. But this time, instead of yarn over and pull through both loops, you're going to take the first loop into the second one. Just like that. This is what it looks like so far. Now chain one, and in the next three stitches, you're gonna do two single crochets. So in here, and you're gonna do two single crochets. So one and two. And it is in the next two stitches. So go in one and two. And one more time in the next stitch. One two. Just like that. Now do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. two single crochets in the next five stitches. So, one, and two, in the second stitch, one, two, third stitch, one, Fourth, one, two, and fifth, one, and two, just like that. Now you're going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches, so one, two, Six and 
and seven. This is the end of the second row. Now we're going to connect it by making a slip stitch. So go into the first chain. Now you're going to pull through and pull through the, first, the last loop on your hook. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to be going in a pattern by doing one single crochet, then two single crochets, and back to one single crochet and two single crochets. And you're going to do this four times. So in the next chain, go in, do one single crochet, in the next stitch, go in and do two single crochets. Just like that. And you're going to repeat this three more times. Now you're going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four. one single crochet and two single crochet again this time doing it five times totally so one single crochet and the next stitch do two single crochets do it four more times this is what it should look like now we're going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches so end with the slip stitch, so into the next chain, yarn over and pull through the last loop. This is what it should look like. And you're gonna leave a long tail at the end and then trim it off. And you want to make another panel just like this. And this is gonna be the sole of the flip-flop. Now we're gonna make the straps of the flip-flops. So to do that, take your second color and chain 18. After you're done with the 18 stitches, you're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So one, two, and make one single crochet. So we yarn over, pull through, Turn over and pull through both, just like that. And now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. Now in the next chain, you're going to do three single crochets. So go into the next chain, turn over and pull through, turn over and pull through both. And in the same chain, again repeat, turn over, pull through, turn over and pull through both. And one more time, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through both. Just like that. And now in the next nine stitches, you're going to do one single crochet. You should have something like this. Now I'm going to chain one, cut it off, and leave a lot of thread the end and then pull it through and end it just like that now I'm going to thread this long tail that we left into a needle Now 
now take the sole that does not have a tail at the end and I'm going to take the strap and hold it in place. About here. Don't have it towards the edge too much because we're going to be stitching the two sole pieces together. So kind of hold it in place, find out where you want it to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a needle and I'm going to go in pull through come back up, connect it to the other end of the strap just like that, pull through. Now I'm going to go back down through the center and pull it up from the back. Now hold this in place. I want it to be about over here. And again, from the bottom to the top. And back down. Make sure it's secure. Now up here, I'm gonna fold this a bit. And then at the top, from the back, I'm going to go up out here to the center and through that. Bring it out. I'm going to go back in and make sure it's secure, just like that. I'm going to turn to the back, and I'm just going to go through a few of these, make sure it's not seen on the front, and we're just going to secure it, make it tight, so that it doesn't come apart. going to snip that off and this is what it looks like now take the other layer which still has this tail and hold them together align them I'm going to flip around so it's easier to see this take your hook and insert and we're going to stitch the two soles together the reason we have this second layer is so that the stitching that we did is not seen on the inside so take your hook tighten make sure the two panels are aligned like that. Now go into the chain on this sole which still has the tail and go into the adjacent chain on the other base. Now yarn over and pull through and pull it through the second chain and you're going to do this till to for 23 stitches so it should be till about here so i'll do that and i'll be back i stitched this 
till the 23rd chain. Now we're gonna create a loop for the key chain part. So chain four, two, three, and four. Stitching, so go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And do it till reached the first chain. So now I'm just going to go into it, yarn over and pull through that loop to end it. And then you can turn this off and pull it out just like that. This is what it looks like so far.